sends us more strength as our labors increase. To added afflictions, he offers more mercy. To multiply trials, he multiplies peace. When we have exhausted our store of endurance, when our strength has failed and the day is half done, when we've reached the end of our earthly resources, our Father's forgiving is only begun. Our Father's forgiving is only begun. Welcome, welcome to Worship Wednesday. It's good to know that you are there. I can see all the chat coming up. So welcome, good morning. It's nice and sunny here in Brighton, which is a nice relief, it's isn't lovely. it? lovely. I have the original handsome fella with me this morning. He is back. You have not been replaced, babe. Not permanently. Not permanently. <laughs> and uh, we are excited just to come and worship with you. It's half term, so some of you haven't been on live for a while. And this week we can do it together, which is exciting. And um, we're really expecting that God is going to speak to us. So why don't we just open our hands and just um, take a moment to take a breath and invite the Holy Spirit to come and speak. Lord, we thank you that we get this time to set aside with you again today, to be encouraged, to be strengthened, but to fix our eyes on you. And we pray that as we exalt you, as we magnify your name, and as we uh, get a bigger view of who you are, that our hearts will be reminded again and our minds will be reminded again. And we just pray, come Holy Spirit, fall afresh on us again. Fall afresh on our worship. Fall afresh on our lives fall afresh in our homes, in our families, in our workplaces. Come Holy Spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
not good when I start crying on the first song. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
tears from your eyes He will restore what's been lost And He'll give back what's been taken He will give sight to the blind He will give strength to the weak And He will care for the broken
Um, sorry, I was just trying to find a scripture. <laughs> Faith is pouring out his worship as he plays, and we can have a deeper understanding and a richer understanding of who God is. And um, this morning, I think I'm just reminded of the preciousness of our walk with Christ. You know, it's just so precious that we get to call him Saviour and we get to call him Friend. And so wonderful as we approach this weekend with so many things to celebrate with the Jubilee happening and 
so many things to celebrate and be thankful for, um, but also we celebrate the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit on his church. And I'm just reminded um, that we get to give, we get to, to know Jesus personally through the power of his spirit through this gift of the son and the and the spirit leading us to him and it's just such an incredible privilege that we get to call him savior and friend and uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed by it this morning I think just I'm just so moved and then the promise that this relationship that we have with with God now it's not just a um, a small thing or or something that uh, lasts only for a, for this life but actually it lasts forever and that when one day we're going to see him we're going to see him face to face when we stand in glory we're going to see our wonderful savior face to face i'm just blown away by that this morning and i'm just going to re- read a couple of scriptures to you as we go into this next song it's um psalm 8 it says O oh lord our lord how majestic is your name in all the earth You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens and the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honour. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands, and you have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen and also beasts of the field and birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And then I was also reminded of the scripture in Isaiah 43 where it says this, But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you.
Lord, we just are so grateful for you that we get to call you Lord and we get to call you friend. Jesus, we thank you for all that you've done for us. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are now poured out into our hearts. Thank you for leading us and guiding us and being with us. Thank you for revealing Jesus to us. Thank you for revealing who you are to us. Thank you for your power that is at work in us. We thank you so much for the good things that you give us. And we thank you that your presence is with us today. Thank you that we don't have to do anything in our own strength. That you give us our brains and you give us Uh, ways to make decisions and do things but actually we can do it as a people filled with the Holy Spirit and so I pray that this weekend will be so significant Lord we pray for a mighty outpouring of your spirit on this land and on the on the nations Lord we pray that it will be a significant time in people's lives personally and corporately as your church we ask for this Lord we we need you we need more of you we long for you to pour your spirit out so we say come Lord Jesus by your spirit and shine your light again we ask we ask this in Jesus name amen well thank you so much for joining us it's gone pretty quickly this morning and uh, <laughs> we've got another worship Wednesday I realized this morning that we have done our 95th this is our 95th Wednesday mm. morning day. amazing which is quite ma- major. Yeah. So in July, it's going to be our 100th and we're going to do a big party to celebrate. So keep an eye out for that. We will be letting you know more about that. Um, we have got Big Church Day out on Friday. So if you're there, please come and join us at 3.45 in the worship tent. We would love to worship with you and then I would love to see you. Um, so please come and join us there. And also... Um, what else was there? Coffee morning. Oh, coffee morning. We've got coffee morning on the 18th of June. Tickets are on sale now on the website. Um, it's going to be a two-hour morning with worship, with word, with testimony, encouragement. And we're really believing God for him to come and move. So why don't you grab a ticket for that and join us on the Saturday, the 18th of June. And it will be up for a week. So if you can't make that weekend, but you can make the weekend after, or you can do it in the middle of the week, whatever it might be, we will make sure that you can watch it uh, for that time. And then after that, it will go down so i think that's about it that's it that's it have a good day have a wonderful time we pray god's blessing on you amen
It's the sweetest of sounds I will never be alone I bring it all back to Jesus I bring it all, bring it all back to Jesus I bring it all, bring it all back to Jesus I bring it all, bring it all to Jesus.